Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carly Barnett on Mother's Day weekend. A mother being charged in connection to the death of her own daughter. One year old Nirvana Oliver was found dead in a retention pond at an office park Thursday. Her mother, Asia Calabrese Lewis, was charged with her murder later that night. But tonight, those charges are changing. Atlanta News First reporter Joshua Skinner has been speaking with investigators as well as family members all day. He joins us now from that pond on Peachtree Dunwoody Road. So Joshua, can you explain what this change means for the investigation? Yes, absolutely. First off, though, this pond here, it's this retention pond in Sandy Springs. We actually spoke to not too long ago a woman who was walking nearby this pond and she says it's not an uncommon place for people to come out and walk with their families on a given morning or a given evening, but she could never have imagined what happened here on Thursday. She said she had actually seen Calabrese Lewis out here with her family before the incident. Now the original charges against Asia Calabrese Lewis, as you were mentioning, Carly, were cruelty to children, deprivation, necessary sustenance, and felony murder. Today, Atlanta News First has learned that the Fulton County District Attorney is recommending dropping those two charges in favor of one called malice murder, which carries the legal burden of proving intent to kill. It's all part of the evolving investigation and the confusing nature of the crime. Um, at this time, our investigation is ongoing. We're trying to determine exactly how that happened, why it happened, uh, and see if we can find anything else that might answer some of those questions at this time. Now the charge of malice murder seems to indicate that authorities have found what they believe are some of those answers to this crime. Now Calabrese Lewis was supposed to appear in court today at 1130. That hearing was moved due to medical reasons. Hearing is now scheduled for Monday. In Sandy Springs, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First. All right, Joshua, thank you for that live report. Now, we were the first to break this story Thursday night. And we will continue to stay on top of it as we learn more details and read through everything we know to get future updates on it. Just download the Atlanta News First app.